Hey guys, Jamie with PTSD Buddies, and uh, what I'm going to talk about today is uh, PTSD denial. That's for people who don't think they have PTSD, or people out there who don't realize they have PTSD. Um, and it happens a lot. I mean, there are lots of people out there who just don't get the help they need. I mean, some people think they have a problem, but don't not sure what it is. Others know they have a problem and are frightened to get help because they're frightened to lose their job or have other people look at them differently. I mean, I know myself, um, I remember one time uh, I had to go to the dentist and I had to get a wisdom tooth taken out. And um, the dentist, before the, the appointment, asked me, um, you know, did I want to get the Novocaine needle or did I want to be put under? And uh, I remember saying, you know, I've never been put under before, so I wanted to do it that way. Plus, it sounded cool, you know, you go in the dentist, you have a nap, you wake up, it's over. But uh, when you have nightmares, <laughs> uh, maybe going under is not a good idea. But I wasn't thinking that at the time. So anyway, they put me under. And um, my wife was waiting for me in the waiting room. And when they put me under, I guess I went into a nightmare. I don't remember. But the dentist told me when I woke up that I started yelling for people to get down. Uh, I started telling people that we were being shot at. It was the Taliban. Yelling at fire control orders, which are, you know, telling people where the enemy is and telling them where to shoot. And as I'm yelling this in the dentist chair asleep, I guess my arms are moving around and I hit the dentist. Uh, I There's a tray of uh, tools that they were going to use to do the work. And I guess I knocked the tray of tools on the ground. And uh, anyway, when it was all over, uh, and they told me this. I still didn't really believe I had a problem. I thought I could control it. But, you know, people with PTSD, you know, it's really hard to control a lot of times. And you need help. But, uh, yeah, I mean, some people go, some people realize they have PTSD right away. Others go years. I've heard up to 10 years before they have a feeling of PTSD. You never know when it's going to come. But if you really think that you have something going on, you know, something isn't right. It doesn't hurt to talk to somebody. You know, you could talk to even a friend. You talk to a professional if you need, if you really think it is, you, that's what you need. I mean, it's confidential. But if you really, if someone especially, you know, like my wife was telling me I needed help. If someone's telling you you need help, then it doesn't hurt to talk to somebody. And if you can't find someone to talk to, you can find us on PTSD Buddies. There's a lot of members there a lot of great information and they're there to listen and they got some great comments you now I know they help me every day anyway that's my rant PTSD denial cheers everybody keep watching